October 16th. This time is flying. So I'm pretty much like in a sweat right now because I just um, ran from the uh, terminal to get my car. And now I'm going straight to go do a client. Um, I changed my flight. I was supposed to go last night. Now I worked really late last night and Detroit and then I was just tired and I got a really nice person on Delta and they let me change. They should always let me change but they don't. So I got a nice lady. She let me change. Um, so now I'm here. Now I'm going to my clients. I got a good rental though. I got a Ford Explorer. It's really nice. It has leather. Fancy for a, for a rental. Um, yeah. So Sorry, I'm like out of breath. What is this hair doing? Um, he's still struggling. Look, he's still trying to like get this car in this spot. He really wants me to leave. Okay, I'm gonna go. So one quick thing, these sunglasses are like my fave. You can't see them, of course you can't, and I'm driving and vlogging. It's always great. But it's like very slow speeds always when I'm doing this. Um, so, these sunglasses are like one of my most favorites for like five years and this is my second or third pair because I constantly am doing bad things to them and now just now when I was pushing my luggage they fell off my purse and straight on the lenses like straight on the lenses to the cement uh -oh. Uh -oh. and so they just got all scratched And then it's always great getting like a cool like bigger rental and stuff and like a nice car as your rental but then I forget like here I have to pull into a parking spot in the condo that is like small and now I'm thinking and that parks the car that parks next to me which is Leanne's is an SUV so when there's two big cars it is like a nightmare and I have like a cement wall next to me that I have to avoid so hmm, that'll be interesting good thing there's like cameras on this thing because now that I'm like driving it it's like a boat I'm also going to do a house call right now which I love doing hair and home like if I could just get paid a lot of money to always do hair and home I would because it's just so fun but the world of like a traveling stylist is that I always forget something so I forgot developer so now before I go I have to like go find developer I remembered everything else like bowl brush color everything but I forgot the developer so now I have to go find some which will be interesting it'll probably be Sally's because which is fine it's just developer but um yeah now I'm on the hunt at 5.30 on Sunday to find a developer. Wish me luck. It's a little cul-de-sac that my client lives in and like look at how cute all the houses are like 
Wait, it just this. came in clutch because I forgot gloves. <laughs> so, you know, always, <laughs> always a reason to keep this around. So I just finished my client. It was great. I forgot to film, film it, of course. But um, it is like nine o'clock now in Nashville. And I just went to Whole Foods, if you can see. It's like the best Whole Foods ever. There's no real, the signs behind that tree. But it's in Green Hills. And it is great. And I hope we're, they're building a new one in Birmingham, in Michigan. And I hope it's going to be like this one because it has like the best hot bar ever. Wow, where's that light coming from? Um, like it has like four different bars, like a salad bar, a hot bar, like two different salad bars. And they have so many options. It's so good. Um, so hopefully ours will be like that. But I just want to show you something that I'm absolutely addicted to. Cause I get often addicted to a lot of food things, but these are everything. They are cheese crisps. They're Parmesan crisps. Focus, focus. Yeah, Parmesan crisps. They are unbelievable. And they also have them at Costco in Michigan. I'm sure they have them at all Costco's, but that's where I found them. Cause I don't, I honestly like our Whole Foods, our Whole Foods is so old, the one that's by me, that I don't even go to it. It makes me, like, not like Whole Foods. So, um, I was in Costco and they had them. They're just amazing. And you can almost make yourself sick on them, but I don't know. They're just so good. And sometimes I eat them with, like, apples, so it's, like, cheese and apples, but it's crispy and baked cheese. It's so good. So you should try them. So, it's 11, Nashville time, and I am at Leanne's place, oh god, that was really close, I'm at Leanne's place, and I'm just dying because, <laughs> look at, she put a towel over her new marble table, because last time I was here, I put a scratch on it. It wasn't really like a real scratch, but it's like if you looked in the light like a certain way, you could see like a tiny scratch because she got marble, like real marble, and it's very delicate. And I'm not a very delicate person. <laughs> so she put the towel there, which is just so her and it's great. Um, she's out of town till tomorrow night. Um, look at how pretty the kitchen. Not much different than what it was a couple weeks ago, but it's just so pretty. And then, um, as usual, because I mean, what would this trip be without a look at the view? So pretty. And like, there's gonna be major, well there already is, if you can look like over there, there is major traffic because Adele is performing right there at Bridgestone Arena, which I'm sad I didn't get to go to, but to get sold out. It took the longest to, to build ever. Like, this started and they built the West End and finished it, like, before this was finished. I, I have no idea, but it was the slowest project. It's still, I, there's no way, but it's still not finished, but they're actually, friends of ours are staying the night there soon, like this week, so it has to be open and ready. I'm just not sure how. I'm teaching a class tomorrow, a clips class tomorrow, extension, and then I'm working, and it'll be a long day of just working. Tomorrow and Tuesday are just like busy, busy work days. Just one more. Just one. So, it is, let's see, oops. it's Wednesday the 19th and I am in Nashville and I, uh, 
didn't work today, which is nice. I have the day off, and so I actually have been thinking about maybe buying something here. So I just spent a few hours with a realtor going around learning all the different areas, which was really cool because even though I've come here for like two years, I only stay in a couple certain places and only know like different locations by like restaurants or stores. So if you tell me like over by Nordstrom, then I know that by Nordstrom, I don't know it by, oh, that's Green Hills or whatever the area is. So that was really fun and we went to like so many areas. So um, it's a little overwhelming, but it's really cool to be able to see all of the areas and how much growth there is here. It is like ridiculous. I have seen it because of like, obviously you see it everywhere and in the Gulch there's a million cranes downtown. And to me, like, cranes always equal money or, like, because building and it means their companies are investing in the cities. So, um, that's amazing. But even inside the neighborhoods outside of the city, it's incredible. There's one area called the Nations where every single street, there's new builds. And not just, like, one. It's, like, the whole street is a new build. So that's so interesting to me and it's it's like scary and, and amazing at the same time because you wonder about if there's like a bubble and if there's just too many buildings going up for it for everyone to make it. But I guess like 85 people move here a day, which I guess is a lot and they need places to live. So um, it's just really cool. Pricing is super expensive right now because the market is so great and there's so many people moving here um but so that was really fun now I'm in an area called 12 south and I'm starving but I saw this cute pump it pumpkin patch and so I just want to go walk around it can't win I have gone I found a parking spot but it was a two hour meter a one hour meter for two dollars and I didn't have eight quarters so I couldn't eat out there I come to barista parlor and I found a parking spot which is amazing and then they're out of the moto sandwich which is like their egg and biscuit they're out of their acai bowl and they're out of their oatmeal so now I'm back in my car and now I stay in this building right here, but it's like right there, but it's so annoying to have to go in the garage and go park and all of that. So I was trying to just be so simple and now it's turned into so much work and I'm sweating now because it's 90 degrees here and yeah, so we'll see where I end up eating. I was just undoing my luggage and um, I, the TSA looked through my bag today <laughs> the guy gave me the weirdest look when he opened this bag and I was like I don't understand like it was the weirdest look so now I just opened it myself like because I was undoing it all and this was in there <laughs> oh my god I can't even it goes to my camera it's like a um like a thing you can move around oh my god I'm I am just he was seriously like looking at me crazy and like then kind of like embarrassed and I'm like why is he looking at me like that but it's because this was in the, it was in here like this and he was like going through it and I'm sure he like saw it <laughs> oh my God. 